Hi, I'm Jeff Stokes. Welcome to Jeff's Daily Dose of Encouragement. Today I want to encourage you, don't compromise. You might remember the story in Joshua chapter 9 it is, where a group of people called the Gibeonites tricked Joshua and the elders of Israel by feigning that they came from a far country because they had heard that Joshua and the Israelites as commanded by God were destroying all of the nations who they came into contact with so that they could take over Canaan like God had promised them. But they came in with mouldy bread and holy shoes and looked really disheveled and everything and came to Joshua and said they came from miles away. And then Joshua found out later after they'd entered into a covenant of peace with them to, to protect them that they actually were very nearby and they lied to them and beguiled them and then so Joshua and the elders of Israel had to compromise what God had told them because they had entered into an agreement with those that were basically of Canaan land and God didn't really want them to do that and they ended up having to you know go and fight battles for them and ended up having them as servants but really they became a bit of a thorn in, in Israel's side so my encouragement for you today is not to compromise not to enter into agreements that are going to compromise your situation as a Christian uh, as a group of Christians as a church I know of churches whereby I have felt like that Midianite spirit has, has um, entered in has crept in and at one stage a particular church I have in mind was um, operated a certain way um, and then people came in and stealthily took over and changed the character and nature if you like of that church against its constitution and re reconstituted it if you like without you know illegally with it with without the consent of of the people properly and things like that and then stealthily took it over and so you've got to be very careful um and and these people in, in joshua there that was the, it was the leaders that got sucked in and often it happens through leadership it's the leadership that lets these things in not the people and then the people end up having to suffer it and they could suffer it for years you know Paul said that not to enter into agreements with you know false with things people that are not true believers that are not they don't believe the same as you do it's called being unequally yoked you can't do that um, they will always it will always cause trouble and cause you to compromise your position so that's my encouragement for you today is you need to hear from God what he's told you to do and don't add to it don't take away from it don't water it down or try and embellish it stick to what God told you and if God has told you to go into alliance with someone else it'll be because a he said so and it'll be according to his word but if it's not, then do not do it, because you will end up paying the price for that. So that's my encouragement for you today. Uh, you know, churches, businesses, marriage, any agreement that you enter into with somebody. I think it says in Proverbs that, you know, if you've entered into an agreement foolishly, go quickly to your neighbor and, 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 and sort that out and get it undone. Don't keep don't keep that going because it'll just it'll just ruin your day um i live in a country where the, by that the our ancestors and ancestors of the native people of our country signed a treaty and now because they signed that with these people that's coming back to bite this country and, and, and to compromise this country into doing things that they never ever envisioned that they would be having to do when that was signed. 
and they've got this constant I'll use whining voice going on all the time wanting more 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 all because they compromised and signed an agreement years ago that they cannot get out of and it doesn't matter what they do to try and settle this or settle that it'll never be settled so it's a dangerous thing to do so that's my encouragement for you today is do not compromise god bless you have a great day if you don't know jesus christ and you would like to learn how to live a life whereby you don't have to compromise who you are and what your standards are and what you do if you confess with your mouth the lord jesus and believe in your heart that god raised him from the dead you'll be saved for whosoever shall confess that jesus is the son of god god dwells in him and he and god and if you do that he will help you to live in such a way that you can be upright and righteous and holy and walk in love and walk in truth and you do not have to compromise your position because it's the right one and you'll have peace in your heart about it so that's my encouragement for you today god bless you have a great day